Jonathan Byers was deemed a creep after taking photos of Nancy Wheeler and Steve Harrington without their consent in Stranger Things Season 1, but there was a reason for his photography. Charlie Heaton has played the core character since the Netflix series began in 2016. Though he eventually began a romantic relationship with Nancy, the status of the pair is currently unclear. The Byers family and Eleven moved out of Hawkins at the end of season 3, and although it hasn't been explicitly stated yet, Jonathan may end up bidding farewell to his first serious girlfriend. Before Jonathan and Nancy's relationship bloomed during the fallout from Will's disappearance, the two were more like acquaintances. When Will went missing, Jonathan sought out information regarding the whereabouts of his little brother. In the second episode, The Weirdo on Maple Street, Jonathan searched the woods that happened to surround the Harrington house. While scouring the area, Jonathan noticed that Steve was hosting a small party, so he took photos of them from the woods without the group knowing. He primarily focused on Nancy, who he was infatuated with. What Jonathan didn't know was that he captured the lurking Demogorgon just before it caused the infamous death of Barb. When Nancy and Steve later found out about the photos, Steve and his friends called Jonathan a pervert, taking his camera before destroying it. Seeing as the group often bullied Jonathan, they believed that he was obsessed with them, specifically Nancy. Even though Nancy eventually went on to pick Jonathan over Steve, their arguments weren't exactly justified. Technically, Jonathan took photos without their consent, but his motivation sided with his self-perception rather than an obsession or jealousy. Jonathan's secret photography had a deeper meaning to take a deeper dive into Jonathan's actions in the woods, it was important to look at why he was there in the first place. Stranger Things will disappear into the upside down without a trace, and aside from his own mother and Will's best friends, not many people were initially concerned. Even Nancy originally brushed off the incident, claiming that Will was probably fine. As Jonathan searched for his brother, he happened upon a group of fellow teens having a carefree party. He was probably taken aback by their blasé attitude while he was in the middle of a tragic situation. To the same point, it was clear that Jonathan felt like an outsider in Hawkins, especially when it came to high school. He wasn't one of the popular kids, nor did it seem like he had many friends. As he watched classmates having fun on a random school night, Jonathan couldn't help but document the environment he wasn't a part of. It was symbolic that Stranger Things Jonathan was taking photographs from the shadows as if he was truly on the outside looking in. Rather than explain this isolated feeling to Nancy, he used the notion that he was a creep since he felt she wouldn't understand. As Stranger Things continued, Nancy got to know the real Jonathan, as did Steve. Why Jonathan Byers has grown distant from photography by season 4 whereas photography was a serious, enduring pursuit of Jonathan's in Stranger Things season 1, by season 4, he's become much less fixated on taking photos. A variety of factors could have influenced this shift, including the stress of constant supernatural threats and their resulting trauma, the cross-country move, and the changes in his relationships. All of these things are significant life changes that could trigger a change in Jonathan from Stranger Things' priorities and passions, as evidenced by his budding friendship with Argyle in California and his newfound interest in smoking weed. If photography represents Jonathan feeling isolated and unseen, perhaps he's overcome that as part of Hawkins' growing mystery-busting gang, and he no longer feels the need to hide behind a camera. 
Alternately, it could be that his changing circumstances made him feel more lost and stoned than ever and have increased the distance between Jonathan and his previous passions. Will's big brother has certainly changed since his Stranger Things Season 1 introduction, and he's likely to develop further as the next season's post-apocalyptic story unfolds. Oh